What up guys, my name is Stanley Steen from Team Debru and today I am going to show you how to create your campaign with propeller ads. So let's dive in. Alright, so I am in the at the homepage of Propeller Ads and I am going to log in. So if you don't have an account yet, you can easily sign up by clicking the sign up button. And as an affiliate marketer, you want to sign up as an advertiser. And then right here, you can fill in all your details to get your account. So I am going to log in. Let's see. Alright, and oh, by the way, if you haven't done so yet, you can still join the Debru Suite free beta test. So the Debru Suite is a brand new platform with all your affiliate marketing tools all in one place. And right now we are testing out our softwares and that means that you can join for free. I will post the link down below in the descriptions where you can sign in for the Debru beta the Debru Suite beta test and from there you can get free access to the new platform. So right now I am inside of Propeller Ads and these are my campaigns that we did in the past but we are going to create a new campaign. By the way they have a very cool Halloween promo right now. Increase your spending from October 15 to November 15 any ad format based on your propeller priority status compared to your spending from September 15 to October 15. And when you increase your spend by $300, you get a $75 coupon. Uh, when you increase spend by 500, you get 125, 1000, you get 250, and 3000, you'll get $600. So pretty cool promo, all because of Halloween. We are going to create a new campaign and it's going to be a push notifications campaign obviously. So we want to give our campaign a name. So the name that I always suggest is start with the geo. So for example United Kingdom and then put in the offer. So whatever, let's say diet offer one. And, well, that's probably enough if you would have a name right here. So, Keto Brand Weight Loss, whatever, right? So, this would just be the name of the actual product that you are selling. All right, cool. So, push notifications, the classic push, and we are going to go with the CPA. And then right here you would put in your target URL. So where do you want the traffic to go? I am just going to use this link right here. And then we are going to create our creatives. So first we want a title. We've got 30 characters for that. We want a description with 40 characters. And then we want two images, one as a sort of logo and one as the actual featured image. So the title, we only have 30 characters. Shocking weight loss results. So think of the capital capitalization, so that would make it look like this. All right, description. New method makes losing weight easy. And then we want two different sizes of images. So I always use Canva to crop my images and get the right dimensions for whatever I need them for. Let's see, 192 by 192 for the icon. There we go. And then we open up Google Images right here. And I want to look for something like health. 
something very simple, basic. It's going to be small, so it can be simple, basically. What about this? What if we just rip this top part? I'm going to save this image. I actually like that. It's clean. It's simple. Right, here it is. And then we want to make it bigger. All right. There we go. It's going to be pixelated as fuck. All right. Let's see how that looks. That looks terrible. Okay, so I want something else. I want something of a little bit better quality. So let's see if we can find something else. Weight loss. What do we have? So I want something like a uh, drawing. All right. Something like this. This is pretty cool, so we need to get rid of that branding at the bottom, but I think we can do that. Yes, we can. Okay, this is a web page, so is there something else <clears throat> that will make a cool logo? Maybe weight loss animation. Let's see. What do we have? So I would say the, <clears throat> the logo isn't the most important one of the two pictures, obviously, because the featured image is going to be bigger and is going to really attract the attention. However, I do think that the icon of your creatives with push traffic is more important than an icon for your landing page since it will get featured right next to your headline. So you want it to be good. You want to spend some time. What about this? You want to spend some time on actually finding the right images. All right. There we go. Sure, fine, whatever. Not the best quality, but I can live with it. It's going to be small, so you won't be able to tell. All right, it's this one. Cool. Now that looks pretty dope, right? So now we need a bigger image, 360 by 240. 360 by 240 and this is going to be our featured image so we want something of a eye catcher something that's a real scroll stopper not that they're really scrolling because it's a notification but you know what I'm saying something that that pulls them out of their regular flow of whatever they're doing and actually go check out what we have to tell right Okay, so for example, with a keto, you would see a lot of images like this. I like to go the other way. So instead of listing meals that look delicious, I like to go extreme. Disgusting food habit. Let's see what we can find. Look at that. The fuck is that? That looks disgusting. Perfect. <laughs> I think nobody ever said that in one sentence before. <laughs> All right, let's get it in. So there we go. Okay, the good thing about this image, I have no clue what it is. It looks disgusting. I still know it's food. There's contrast in the picture. So that's what's really attracting me to this image. So we could download this 
and in this case an image like this I would personally use with a specific angle so I would probably say something like um, eating eating this will damn melt away body belly fat right eating this will melt away belly fat and then you have that disgusting image all right so then the countries we said we wanted to run in the UK and I'm just gonna run the complete UK so I'm not gonna target by cities or states the daily campaign budget let's start out at fifty dollars total campaign budget I don't have one for this one platform mobile one platform one ad campaign obviously operation system I don't care browser I don't care browser language I don't care connection type I don't care mobile ISP I don't care zone limitation nope audiences if no, <laughs> I was just checking what kind of audience we would have in here. But all right, collect an audience for retargeting. Do I want to collect it? Yes, collect users who clicked on the ads in this campaign. Collect engaged users who are interested in your landing page, or collect users who completed conversions in this campaign. So let's collect the users who clicked on the ad in this campaign. And we would call them weight loss audience. Cool. Campaign schedule. All right. It might take 24 hours because obviously they would need to review it before you can push it live. And you would have to declare and guarantee that your campaign meets the quality guidelines. And as soon as you've done that, you can start your campaign or save it as draft. Save it as draft to review it later and also this preview will give you a little look about how your campaign is going to look like if you would push it right now so this is what it would look like on Android on Windows it would look like this and on Mac it would look like that so the thing is with Mac it doesn't have the actual image you see it just has the icon uh, which makes it more important to spend some time picking the right icon because if I look at like look at it like this I'm not saying okay this icon is great and is really attracting me can we click on this no all right that's fine okay so basically that's it that's how you create your campaign and that's how you start to make money with push traffic using propeller ads don't forget to check out the Deborah Sweet Beta, which you can still join completely for free with all kinds of affiliate marketing software there for you to use. And that's going to be it for this one. So I will catch you next time and peace out.